Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a little end of the year declutter. I don't often do these kinds of videos on my channel these days because I have really been trying to figure out ways to fall in love with the products that I do own. I've been shopping my stash to really fall in love with the products I have and to get use out of them consistently. But in the recent last few weeks, I have been thinking about what project panning and just makeup use up and all that kind of stuff looks for me in 2021. And I have been really going through my collection and being hyper critical about the things that I do own and my experiences with them, all that good stuff. So I did actually film a video talking about the products that I want to project pan and to prioritize in 2021. I will link that in the card so you can check that out if you wanna see some of the products that I've kind of pinpointed and targeted that I really want to use up. But in the process of doing that, going through my collection and really looking at it analytically, I have decided that there are a handful of products that I do want to part with and I just won't be using them um, to their full potential. If I do keep them in my collection, they could go in better hands or they're at the point where they're just far too gone that unfortunately I do have to throw them out. So how about we just hop on into it and let's chat about the products I'm going to be decluttering and not bringing with me into the new year. I've known for many months that I was going to be decluttering this palette once I was done with my Pan That palette. Focusing on it, it is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye palette. I did actually just film the finale for that project pan, so if you haven't checked that out, definitely go check it out, but I am actually going to be decluttering this now that I have focused on it for a long time. It's definitely definitely something that I'm ready to part ways with. It was a really good learning experience and it was really interesting to delve into a palette and really, really prioritize it. But I do not love this palette and I really am so ready to let this go and to use the eyeshadows in my collection and the palettes in my collection that I love far more than this. So I am saying goodbye to this, but it does look very well loved and I'm really happy with the amount of progress that I did make on it over the past year or so that I was prioritizing it. I'm gonna be decluttering this e.l.f. Beauty Shield SPF 50 Skin Shielding Primer. This is a tinted SPF primer and it doesn't really do anything beneficial for my skin or for my makeup longevity or just for the look of my makeup in general. And I've just really not enjoyed the process of using this. This also does expire in July of 2021. So it is expiring soon. And so I was thinking maybe I would prioritize it, put it into a project pan in the early parts of the new year. But the pump is like not working anymore because the product is so thick. So it comes out, but it's just an actual mess. It's really annoying to use. And this product, like I said, is very thick. It can be very like mask-like. I just, I don't like it. It's just a mess. Like it's just so, so thick and it's very heavy on my skin. I feel like it really sinks into my fine lines on my forehead and into the creases around my mouth. So if, I can't really wear this as a standalone SPF product and I really don't like the way that it looks underneath of any of my complexion products. I don't even wanna pass this off to anyone in my life because it just is that bad. <laughs> um, I really don't think it's a great product whatsoever and I've held onto it because I did hear a few pro uh, people here on YouTube actually rave about this and I thought maybe I'm just missing something about it, but I just, I don't like it. It does not agree with my skin or my preferences whatsoever. For uh, reference, I do have normal to semi-dry skin. So perhaps if you had oily skin, you might like this more, but it's just so thick that it sits so heavy and apparent on the skin and I wouldn't recommend it. I just had to go and like wash all that product off and it just really cemented for me the fact that I don't want to have that in my life anymore. And I don't know if I want to swatch many more of these products, but we'll see how it goes. But in any case, the next product is also a primer. This is the Bare Minerals Prime Time Original Foundation Primer. This is a 15 mil, so it's only half the size of a standard primer. And so I've kind of held on to this thinking it's something I can work my way through pretty quickly. It's something that maybe one day once I work my way through other primers I'll really get to be able to play with and get to know and I've had this for quite some time but I only recently actually swatched it on the back of my hand 
And after that first impression, I just don't think this is gonna be something for me and I don't really want to invest the time into it. And it is so fresh and new at this point that I can pass it off to someone else in my life. It has this like slippery, silky, silicone-y kind of feeling similar to the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And that primer I've actually used several times and it's something that I did have a full size of many moons ago, like long, long, long ago. And it never really wowed me and never left any sort of impression on me because I just didn't feel like it did much for me. And I have recently used up a mini of that and it kind of like re-solidified that opinion for me as well. So I just don't think this is something that I'm going to enjoy. I'd rather invest my time into using something that works more for me and something that I enjoy more. But I do think that this type of primer is something that my sister who has oily skin might get on with a little bit better, so I'm gonna pass it off to her and hopefully she can enjoy it. Speaking of which, I'm gonna also pass this off to my sister, I believe. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in the shade Opal. This was a 100 point perk at Sephora and this was a very, very generous 100 point perk. This is 2.4 grams of highlighter, which it was like three years ago at this point now, but I only picked this up simply because it was such a good deal for 100 points. I was like, I can't pass that up, but I have used it a handful of times. There is a big chunk out of it, not because I used that much product, but I accidentally dug my nail in it, but I've used it several times and I just don't really get the hype of Becca highlighters. Perhaps this isn't the right color for me, or maybe it's formulated or pressed a little bit differently in the full sizes. I'm not so sure, but this formula for me personally, it just does not stick down on my skin. Maybe it's because my skin is more on the dry side. I just find that it just like dusts away and it becomes nothing on my skin and it's so, <laughs> It's, it really is disappointing, but I know this formula works for so many other people. It just didn't really wow me or impress me or do enough for me compared to other people. And I know I have so many freaking highlighters in my life that I am just ready to pass this off and focus my efforts on other highlighters that I own. I should be decluttering more than just one highlighter, but this is the progress that I can make. I can't justify getting rid of any of the other ones that I own because I love them, but uh, that one I just don't love and I'm sure that it could find a better home than just sitting and getting expired in my makeup collection. I'm also gonna be decluttering a couple of lip products. This first one is newer to my collection. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Lips in the shade Dolly Bird. I've not yet put this on my lips, I've not worn this once, even though I've had it in my collection since I think July, whenever that um, summer mystery box came out. I'll link that in the cards too because I did the unboxing here on my channel, but I've not worn it. I have no inclination to wear it, no desire to wear it whatsoever. I do also have a Bare Minerals mini lipstick that's in a shade very comparable to this that actually came in the same like Sephora set that this one came in, the primer. And um, I just don't really see myself using this just the same way that I don't really reach for that one. And seeing as this is new and it's never once touched my lips, I've swatched it maybe twice ever on the back of my hand, on my hands when they're clean. I don't even wanna swatch it right now because my hands are still a little bit dirty from that primer, but um, they like feel dirty, you know, from that primer but I'm gonna pass this off to my mom. This is a like cool toned pinky mauve kind of shade and I think she would really enjoy this kind of color. This next lipstick is also one that's just going completely underutilized in my collection if used at all. This is the Madame Glam Velvet Lipstick in the shade Pucker Up. This is a like satiny kind of lipstick formula. Let me swatch it. And it's this really pretty like flamingo coral kind of shade, but it's just not my kind of colors. It looks really, really pretty on a swatch, but it's just not something that I gravitate towards. It's not something that I feel very comfortable in either. And so this has just been something that has simply sat in my drawers. I think I've worn it maybe one or two times and then I just pull it off because I just don't feel very comfortable in it. This has a very strong coral orange undertone that I just don't find I feel very confident in. And I was really kindly sent this by Madame Glam when they were still making lipsticks. And so I held on to it because it just felt very special and exciting and it's something that's no longer available. But 
you know, the few times that I've tried to wear this and incorporate it into looks, I've just come to realize I don't feel very comfortable in it. And I just noticed I have a fluff on my shirt, but I just don't feel very comfortable or confident in it. And I just, there's no need. There's no need to hold on to things and hope that one day maybe my taste will turn or change. This is just not the kind of lipstick that I think I will ever really jive with. And I considered keeping it to wear it as a cream blush, but I do have cream blushes in my collection and I have other lipsticks that I really like wearing as cream blushes. And this for me, it's just not something that really piques my interest. So I am gonna be letting that one go, unfortunately. And this next product is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Bash. I had this in a roulette pan collab, I think almost two years ago now, and I did not enjoy using this then. And I recently tried to pull it out and use it every once in a while, and I don't enjoy using it now. It has a very apparent shimmer, shimmery kind of color to it, and it's a very cool toned pink that I just don't, I don't love. It feels comfortable, even though it is very shimmery, metallic, glittery. It feels comfortable, it feels very smooth on the lips, but this frosty shade is just not my cup of tea. I think this is one that will just always fall to the wayside and will just sit in my collection, but never be used if I hold on to it. And I don't wanna just hold on to and be dragged down by things that I'm never gonna use. I'm gonna consistently see it in my drawers and never ever want to reach into it. And I just feel like that's, you know, some some bad vibes that I just don't really want to deal with. I'm also going to be decluttering this. This is the Essence I Heart Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. This, I'm not sure if this has a shade name. I thought that they had multiple shades in this, but it doesn't seem to have a shade name. It's like a very light pinky kind of tone. I don't like this at all. I've used it a couple times and this does crease very, very badly on my eyes. I've heard some other people have great success with this formula and this product, but mm, me and this product, we don't get along. I have very hooded, oily lids and this just does not do anything of benefit for them whatsoever. I love wearing bright eyeshadow. I love wearing a lot of eyeshadow and this does not intensify the color. This does not prolong the life of my eyeshadow. It actually creases very poorly and I find that products don't really tend to stay as impactful for as long when I wear this. So I'm just gonna be saying goodbye to that. And then one last product is a ColourPop Creme Gel Liner. I've had this for many years and this is in the shade Boots, I believe. Yeah, Boots, which is a bright, hot pink eyeliner. I have held on to this since my last declutter, which was back, I think, in like May. And I wanted to try to integrate it into some looks over the year just to see if it was something that I could implement into yeah some of my looks and get some joy out of but i have not reached for it ever since that declutter and i haven't reached for it since previous declutters uh prior to that one as well so it's just not something that i feel drawn to it's not something that i feel any sort of interest in or desire to use and that's a sign that it's not something i really want to take into the new year with me i don't necessarily want to have like a minimalist or small makeup collection i do feel like i have a decent sized makeup collection that works for me but I also don't want to just hold on to things that don't give me joy or items that are kind of dragging me down or things that don't serve any sort of value in my collection. So all of these products that are here, they're products that I have put to the test or I have tested myself with, or I can compare them to things that I've used in the past. And I've just come to realize they're not really anything that serves me and that's okay. I don't really want to be consistently decluttering this many products moving forward, but but my collection right now, I do feel like it's very curated in a way that works for me and I'm really happy with it. So I wanted to just purge the things that don't serve me. You know what I mean? And I'm really happy to be saying goodbye to all these products. I'm feeling a little bit lighter and a little bit more excited when I look into my drawers. But that is going to be everything for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.